What's up guys? I'm trying to be a little quiet right now because there's other people here on the court. Today, we got a new video for you guys. Kind of different. We're outside. I should really stop saying different because if it's gonna be outside, I mean, it should be outside, right? It's gorgeous today. It's like 70 degrees. This is like perfect weather for tennis. Also, how's it going? My name's Phil. This is Tweenerhood Tennis. If you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil. This is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way. For you guys to understand what's going on on and off the court and just to have some fun with the sport of tennis itself. Now today, we're gonna to be reviewing. We're doing another product review today, but we're doing two products, which both have the same purpose. And that is restoring tennis ball pressure. Now I'm sorry, I'm squinting. The sun is directly into my vision. But I'm also trying to be quiet because there's other people here. We got two types. We got the Restore Extend Tennis Ball by Storing Under Pressure Turna. So we have this one and then the Tennis Ball Saver, which keeps them factory fresh. It even has this little this little sticker that says the original. That works. So that's quite the marketing ploy right there. So we're gonna be testing these out. I wonder how this is, what it smells like on the inside. Fix. It takes like a ton to undo it. <laughs> that may have been the worst smell I have ever had, like smelled in my entire life. What does this one smell like? Keeps them factory fresh. Better, this actually smells like brand new tennis balls. Or, I don't know, but it's just one of those smells. It's probably not good for me smelling them for a really long time. But on each one, it has, on each one it has instructions on it, so that way you can do, follow them. And so that way you can keep the pressure inside the ball. So for the tennis ball saver, I'll read what's on the back. The act of closing this container with three tennis balls inside builds internal pressure to 14 pounds per square inch. Same pressure as in a new can of tennis balls. This stored pressure assures new ball bounce for each match we play and keeps original pressure in your tennis balls when not in play. Dead balls can be rejuvenated in four to eight weeks by storage in this container. Don't throw good balls away for lack of bounce. Keep them fresh in a tennis ball safe. When I first opened the package and I read this, I don't know how long I have to keep them in here. If it says four to eight weeks, do I have to keep the balls in here for four to eight weeks? Or can I, after I'm done playing with them, I put them back in here? Interesting. And with this one too, it even has, you can see at the bottom, the internal pressure of where the ball should go to. You have to push all the way down. So you have the periodic maintenance, periodic maintenance, the clean O-ring and groove with soft rag, lightly re -lube. what the hell am I reading? The Turner Restore. Now it has the same thing, a bit more lengthy of an instructions on here, but let's just read the first, it's basically, I'll just give you the same, it gives you the same, just as the tennis ball saver does. I think it also gives the important notice of the O-ring, the restores clean and lubed, but it actually explains how it go, uh, it actually explains on one side how you're supposed to put the balls in. So, when you twist the two canisters down and compress 14 PSI, the O-ring keeps the air in and the pressure prevents tennis balls from further pressure leakage and forces some air back into the balls over a period of time. So, since we're doing it immediately, I found the three dirtiest balls that I could find. And they're pretty bad. They're actually very bad. They just sound dead as well. I just literally went into my garage and pulled some out from like underneath everything. And just, I just found these three balls under somewhere in my garage. Obviously they're really dirty and no fuzz, completely dirty, just, dead but let's start with the tennis ball saver let's see how this goes i want to see how hard it is to push down on this as well okay three balls are in okay so they're in there now what? This is what confuses me. How long do I leave this in here? So the 14, P 14 pounds of PSI pressure. Okay, old people are coughing me. It's really freaking me out. Coronavirus. I've left them in here for about a minute. I wanna see what happens. She hear that little fizz afterwards too. Not really. 
I'm gonna show you the difference in balance because I have a newer ball here that I just opened probably a couple weeks ago. Still very bouncy, still bounces very well, still very good to use. So after a minute of having this in the canister, we're gonna see how much balance it got back. So I really, I really don't think this is gonna go well, to be honest. Let's see. Comparing it to when I just bounced in when I was picking up the balls from my garage, there was no bounce, but apparently there is some now. I, I really didn't think that was gonna happen. Let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit one. I'm gonna serve a couple with these and compare it to, as you can see, the difference between the dead ones and the new one. But the dead ones have a pretty good bounce right now. So two out of the three felt really good. Well, not really good, but they felt better than when I first picked them up and after I took them out of the canister. One of them felt completely dead and I think the last one I just had just popped. <laughs> so, let me get the other can and I'm gonna find some other dead balls in my basket that I already have and see how they're bounces. Let's grab the Turna Ball Saver can and see how that goes. So we got the Turna Restore Extends Ball Life by Storing Under Pressure. So we got this one now. It's like I'm cooking something. Oh, you can definitely feel the pressure in that. That one I felt like the pressure was going towards the balls. So I'm gonna leave it here for a minute and see how well it does. If you store the balls for four weeks and restore, some of the lost air and balls will be forced back in. This process will allow you to use play balls for additional play. Makes sense, right? But if you're looking for a quick fix, I don't think this is a quick fix. I think both of these are not a quick fix. Both of these take time for the air to be pressurized back into the balls, especially if they're super dead, super dead. But I think the goal of them is to have balls last a longer time rather than picking up dead balls you would find outside of a court or in the forest that someone might have hit out just to get a quick fix out of them. So I do think so far, I think that they work to a degree. I don't think they work for a quick fix. Like, which is what I'm trying to do, but over time, only time will tell. I'm gonna leave these in here for a minute and I'll be right back. So it's been a minute, time to take them out of the can. Let's see. I hope I screwed it on all the way. I'm trying to listen for that sizzle, like when you first crack something open. Ooh. Much more satisfying than the other one. Much more satisfying. The smell that I, when I first opened this up, was much better. They feel a bit harder too, wow. This one feels a lot better. What just happened? But first, let's try the bounce test. We'll get another new ball, bounce each three, see how it goes. That actually felt a lot better than the first time I did it. I actually think that one has a better quick fix, I should say, than the other one. I actually like this one a lot better. If I was to recommend the two, I would definitely recommend the Turner one. Much better quality. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. This is just one of those things where I've seen for a really long time and I wanted to test out and I wanted to show you guys from my perspective what it's actually like. And yeah, it's a bit of a, for me, I would just be getting new tennis balls if they run out or if they die because I know they won't last long. It's kind of just holding on to the old ones. I just get a new can. But not everyone can do that, so this might be a better solution for people that are just trying to save the amount of balls that they have. Not everyone can get constantly new balls. I would say this is a more long-lasting solution for people if they're trying to just save the balls, which I, I think is a good idea. I, so I would definitely recommend the Turna one. If you were to get something like this, I would definitely recommend the Tour Longer Lasting Life one than the other one that I bought. 
I'll leave a link to those in the description below if you guys want to check them out. And this was not a sponsored video. I just wanted to show you guys what it was actually like to review a product like this. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I would really love to know your opinion. And if you want to see me do more reviews like this or want to see me review another product, leave a comment down below of what you want me to do. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you want to check us out on all the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, make sure to check those out as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. All the links to those are down in the description below. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks, guys.